on, guys. What's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video first of all I want to apologize for the two videos that I pretty much missed gotta be honest here I wasn't really feeling making videos man I've been so busy um, it's an excuse honestly I suck I do suck I apologize really sorry uh, but I do want to get you guys up to speed on how the bulk is going because the bulk is actually going pretty well so uh, we're gonna take a look at the way ins of the past week week and a half so from week three we started with 68.9 was a very high one and then we dropped down and we ended with 68 kilos that week which gave us an average of 67.9 which was 0.2 kilos up from the week before uh, which is good i'm happy with that the week four we started with 67.6 so we lost quite a bit but um, on sundays i play football it's very intense I sweat a lot so i always expect my weight to drop on monday um, when I'm tired, I, I'm I'm not a good eater at all. Like at all, I'm not a good eater. Um, especially, uh, and I'm especially not a good eater when I'm really really tired. So after a football game, I was just completely. I'm always completely tired because I give it my all with football, you know. Um, so I have I always have very bad days on Sunday. But um, so Monday 68.7 and 67.9 and the day after that as well. So we were back on the average from last week and then this morning we had 68.5. So there's been, there's been a couple changes, like a few small changes in the diet that I've been making that have been helping me a lot. I want to go over that in the next episode because um, this episode I actually want to go over a very long goal of mine that I've been having and I get so many questions and so much hate well not hate but criticism on this uh or people telling me that i'm weak and stuff and i agree i'm not the strongest i never said i was strong i'm actually quite weak on some lifts uh especially compared to other people but i really don't care like i really do not care at all um i train for myself and as long as i know that i be i am gonna be progressing either in weight or how i look um that's more important for me than being stronger than someone else so that being said i benched 100 kilos 225 for the first time ever in my life on my own uh, without help so we're about to be looking at the bench session that i had i was supposed to do like three times five four times ten as i always do but i felt super strong that day and i had like um i had the deadlift pr and i, I squatted six times 100 kilos uh, last week as well which was uh, quite a surprise um, so things were going really well. I was feeling very confident and it's at, you know, it's it's the week four of the first week, you know, and, and after this week, we're going to have a deal week. So I thought might as well try to go for a PR here. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. My warm up was well. I, everything felt great. So I thought let's just go for it and see what happens. So let's just jump into the commentary. I don't want to talk about form. I don't want to talk about anything like that. Um, I just want to talk about goal setting. Why it doesn't really matter how much everyone else is lifting. And you, you maybe say like, this is so easy for you to say because you're not strong. And I agree, I'm not strong at all. And I don't really care about being strong either. Um, I train for looks and that's <laughs> that's the truth, man. I train for um, the look of it. And you know, obviously I want to get stronger, but stronger than myself than I was a year ago, that's stronger for me. So I don't have to be the strongest guy in the gym. I don't have to be stronger than anyone else. I just care about getting stronger over time for myself. So um, again, I'm a 154 pound weighing guy. I have very small wrist. I'm a very fragile person. I have a very small frame. Um, so I don't blame myself for not being that strong. And also with bench press especially, I've had my injury with shoulder injury so long like um when i broke my clavicle like nothing else with the same after that so i i do still have a little bit of shoulder pain my my right side is a little bit weaker than my left side and for me 100 kilos bench press for one rep is a big accomplishment one of those goals that i had when i started the gym was to do that to do 225 for one rep and i'm very very happy with that i did it so um i don't want to get anyone to get discouraged by other people being stronger or stronger for that age or whatever it is, man. Everybody's different. Everybody has their problems. Everybody has their strength sides, uh, their strong sides. Everybody has their thing. Um, and if you train for strength and hey, if you're stronger and you're only 15, I'm super happy for you, you know? So um, I just don't listen to people who comment stuff like that. But this is um, 80 kilos for one was very easy. 90 kilos for one was pretty easy. So 
um, I decided to go for it. Now, I have two clips where I try to bench 100 kilos. The first clip, I did actually fail. You're going to see in a second, but this is the 90 kilo. Let's see how I do. Very controlled and slow and, you know, quite a good speed for my part. I was really happy with that, so I thought, fuck it, we're going to do it. So I have my friend behind the bar spotting me because I knew, you know, if this, this just goes wrong, I don't want to get fucked. So always have a spotter behind you. It's just for safer purposes, you know. Um, I help, had her help with lift off since it's just stuff you don't want to spend your energy on. And right here you see, I don't get it. So the problem here was that I went down too fast. You can see I was frustrated, kind of smarter, but I knew I had it. So I tried it again a couple minutes later. Again, same thing. She lifted a bar up for me just to preserve energy. Um, this one was very, very, much better, much, much better. So I went down a little bit more slow and controlled and I went up you know, very fast and explosive. And I, I was screaming to her, I got it, 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 because she was about to uh, lift it up. I knew I had it, so I was really happy. And then, you know, talk about overachieving. This is just me, this is like my character. I was like, I'm feeling so good. I'm gonna try 105 kilos and let's just say, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty much how I'm built. You know, I, this, is, this is what I'd always do. I like, always like, Okay, this is going well. Let's try more. Let's try more. But obviously, in a safe sense, I don't want to do it on my own, or I don't want to snap anything. So I don't go like 110 kilos or 120. I just go in small steps. But I always try. I always want to try more. So again, guys, don't get discouraged by other people. Don't get discouraged by anything. Just make sure you are focusing on your progress and checking off your goals that you've set yourself. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode of the Game Game series. Peace.